Okay, let us go to the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Where we have read just now, we are hearing about Peter telling people that they must repent. And then after repenting, they should be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so that their sins may be blotted out. Their sins may be forgotten. Their sins may be wiped off. Their sins may be moved away from them. And then he went forward and say, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit after when your sins have been moved away from you. Now, I want us today to go and speak about a heading that I've written, the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. When we read the Bible, or when we read the word of God, it explains to us that the name Jesus means Jehovah is our salvation. So now today I want us to speak looking closely to the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus that we have been given for the salvations of our sin as Peter was saying to those that were listening unto him. So today I want you and me to understand that the name Jesus to us it is the foundation, it is the wall, the building, it is the roof, it is everything unto us. Without the name of Jesus, you won't be able to do or meet whatever you are supposed to meet as a child of God if the name Jesus is not there in you. In other words, Jesus, when he came to earth to come and die for our sins, it is because he was coming so that his name may be registered in us through the word of God that we may understand and know that we have to live, we have to do things through the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, this name of Jesus, when Jesus was born, there were so many signs and things that appeared so that people can know that he has come. People can know that he has been born. People can know that he has arrived on earth. And when Jesus came, his reason of coming was to come and die for our sins. So that at the name of Jesus, when we start using this name Jesus, everything in our lives will become possible. Things that are blocked will become possible. Things that are not happening will start to happen. And things that are not there will start to be there. Why? Because he is everything that we are supposed to be as children of God. Hallelujah. I have found out, Uri, we are no longer focusing on God himself and Jesus himself. We are now focusing on the things that are happening on earth and things that we want on earth rather than listen or rather than look at our Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Peter said, repent. Repent. Repent and believe so that you can be baptized. When you repent, when you get salvation, it means you must have believed in something that you have heard about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is something that I have learned in this name, Jesus Christ. What I have learned is everywhere where Jesus Christ is mentioned as a name, even if when we are talking it just passing, 
just speaking about what he has done, it has an effect on the soul and the spirit of man. Why? Because this name has been given to us on earth so that our lives can change to a better position so that we can be what God wants us to be. It is only by the name of Jesus Christ that one day me and you, we can be able to see heaven. Hallelujah. It is only, only and only by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that me and you can be able to achieve what we want to achieve right now on earth. The Bible says we have been given the name Jesus. Can you tell somebody that is close to you the name Jesus? I have seen many a times when you go to speak to somebody that you don't know and you start sharing to the person about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, one thing or the other must happen to the person. Not because you were having power, authority, or something else that is superior to the person. Just mentioning the name Jesus, something must happen. Now, all people that are believing in Christ, that are being changed and saying, we want to be Christian, they are being changed because this name went into their spirit and into their soul. And when it meets their soul and their spirit inside, it changed that spirit. Why? Because the name of Jesus has got changing power. And this changing power, Papa, you can compromise, you can do everything. This power that is there in that name does not change. If you can look the time where Jesus was born, 2000, 4000, whatever thousand years ago, and me and you today, we are in the house of the Lord being told that at the name of Jesus, our sins will be blotted out. This is the first and the foremost thing that we have to look at. When we get the name of Jesus, we must know that the first thing that must happen to us is our sins must be removed. When the name of Jesus is removed from you, then other things that pertaineth the name of Jesus can then start to happen in your life. Any other thing else cannot happen if you have not yet been delivered from your sins or moved out from your sins through the name of Jesus. There is a name that when it is spoken, everything must shake and everything that is not must come down. Everything that is not of God must come down. Everything that is not coming from heaven must come down. Why? But when we mention the name Jesus. Now, when you have this name of Jesus, as Peter said, firstly, you have your salvation. Can you ask the person that is close to you, are you saved? Hallelujah. Let us go to Philippians chapter 2 verse 10. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. Can I repeat it? That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. At the name of Jesus. When you speak about the name of Jesus, can you tell somebody that is close to you the name of Jesus? Bible Ere. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of all the things in heaven and all the things in earth and all the things that are under earth. They all bow. Why? Because the name of Jesus has been mentioned. I said initially, the name of Jesus, what he has to do first in your life, it must bring salvation to you. Number two, when the name of Jesus comes to your life, it must bring authority. Why do I say authority? It gives you authority because now, when salvation has 
started in you or when salvation is there in your soul or in your spirit you become a new man you can then be able to say it is no longer I that liveth but Christ is living in me in other words that word has changed you to be the person that you are today or the being that you are today now Bible mo ere at the mention of this name how will I like a virtually when you call upon this name God then gives you authority that everything that is on earth everything that is under earth everything that is in the sea everything that is on top of the mountain everything that is wherever that it is must listen unto you why do i say so it happened this authority with the sons of skeva in the book of x chapter 19 verse 14 you'll go and read the sons of skeva went there they tried to use this authority of the name of Jesus can somebody say authority livichole la marena jesus gives us authority a certain kind of authority a certain kind of power now after being saved when you are baptized when you have the holy spirit as we have read in the first verse the bible says at the mention of this name when arao sipila when you go there you stand there you said to whatever situation that is there in the name of Jesus you have to move from here and go to that place that which you are telling must move from where it is to where you have said it must go this authority banaba khosh it does not work when the name didn't do the first one in other words the first one must happen first then the second one must come the authority must come so that when you stand when you say in the name of Jesus things can then start happening in your life the sons of skeva did this they went to a person who was demon possessed or evil spirit possessed or whatever when they reached that they say by the name this name has authority I don't doubt it. Hallelujah. But now butata ba ona ashibu. Ke ge wena u tsamaya wa fita wa re ka le bitsho. Ka mo le bitsho le le sa dia foundation ka ra wena. The problem with us is baruti baka. We want to use this name Jesus. Wherever this name Jesus never worked in us in the first place. This name of Jesus must first make you the person that you are supposed to be. This name of Jesus, believe you me, must first interpret you according to the way that heaven interprets you. So in other words, this is what must happen when you have this name, when this name has saved you and interpreted at you when you go to whatever situation in life you can then be able to say to the situation in the name of Jesus you demon go out in the name of Jesus you disease you must leave in the name of Jesus my situation must change in the name of Jesus my job must come in the name of Jesus every situation in my life must go in the name of Jesus any spirit of delay must go but when that name didn't work in your life for banaba papa it will never work that's the problem that we are having today we want to use the name jesus but the name jesus didn't work in us in the first place if the name of jesus has changed you you have authority can you tell the person that is close to you if that name has changed you you have the authority That's why we born the sons of Skeva. Ba paletswe. Aba palelwa ka hore ne ba sa rapela tsona. Ba paletswe ka hore le bitso le ne le sa bere ka maphelo nga bona. The Bible says Jesus is the word. Hmm? And now when he is the word, we accept him. At adula morena. He stays in us. Hmm? And when he stays in us, 
The Bible when it quotes him it says he is the word he is the light he is the life meaning when Jesus is inside of you at the last step number 1 when step number 1 has been done in your life already he comes inside of you and he make a dwelling place inside of you now when he is inside of you he becomes the light of your way he becomes the life that you are in need of he becomes whatever that you are searching for so now halinjile jesu bible ki jesu lituchi wena lituchi lisebetsa libereka ke mo ge re tla gona mo yemelela bana ba papa when you stand like a child of god that you are when you say in the name of jesus that word in you that light in you that life in you when there where you are sending it if life is not the life must come if there is darkness light must come if things are not working they must work if things have stopped they must move why because that one who is inside will be portrayed and come out so that men can see The problem is we no see him physically but spiritually it is happening. We cannot go on with our salvation without the name of Jesus. Our salvation will never be a salvation if Jesus is not there. That is why the sons of Sceva when they reached there when they were saying uh, by the name that is spoken by whomever or whomever the demons started to explain the people that you are talking about we know and who are you because out of them they were seeing something else that they never thought they will see but the bible says we've been given authority that when we speak of the name of jesus every knee must bow every tongue must speak and confess that he is lord but now it can not happen that we confess that he is lord when we don't see what happens when we call the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah can we go on? let's go to acts chapter 8 verse 12 <clears throat> but when they believed philip as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of god and the name of jesus christ both men and women were baptized when they believed philip as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of god and the name of jesus christ both men and women were baptized when we have the name of jesus when we hear it what makes you to believe is because your perspective change what do i mean when i say perspective the way you think the way you talk the way you relate why because it is no longer you that is living but the one that is in you that is living come and come away you no longer live the way you please you no longer do things the way you want you do things according to the way that who is inside of you wants in other words when this name has entered into you everything about you changes hallelujah hallelujah Can you tell the person that is close to you everything about you must change If you were na you are still doing things the way you were doing them in 2017 let's go back to salvation If right now you are saying the name of Jesus is working for you but you find yourself still walking the way you were walking before please let go back to the name of jesus why because this name of jesus must change everything about you i know what i'm talking about huh 
When you meet the name of Jesus, when you are living a low life, God will exalt you and put you behind, on top. When you know about the name Jesus, when you have nothing, God will bless you and you have everything. I'm talking about the name that is above every name. I'm talking about the name of somebody that saved us. I'm talking about the name of somebody that came to earth for us. I'm talking about the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who sacrificed his life, making it for me and you so that we can enjoy the love of being a celebrity while we are still on earth. Not that we can be celebrities while we are heaven. Jesus, when he came, he came with a full package. Now for this package to work, Banaba Papa, Jesus. We need Jesus. Can you tell the person that is close to you? You need Jesus. Right now you might be sick. I'm also telling you, you need Jesus. Right now you might be having a problem. Let me tell you, you need Jesus. Right now you are still searching for a job. Hey, you need Jesus. Right now your things are not moving. Your marriage is falling apart. Let me tell you the solution. You need Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's go and read Acts chapter 3 verse 16. Oh God. Petros said, Silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Somebody was seated by the door asking for alms, asking for money. Asking for help. Asking to be helped. So that he can be able to live his day-to-day -day life. And then when Peter reached there, when he saw him, the Bible said he went to him. When he went to him, that man maybe opened his arms so that he can receive. The Bible said he lifted his eyes so that he can receive from them. Looked up with expectation. And Peter said to him, my brother, silver and gold, I don't have. But what I have, I'm giving unto you today. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And if you can read there, the Bible says, at that very same hour, at that very same hour, the man limped up, stood up, and started walking, and started blessing the name of the Lord. Now, this name Jesus works in everything like I've said. The name Jesus comes with a full package. Do you want authority? It's there. Do you want salvation? It's there. Now what are I hearing here? Do you want healing? It's there. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, if you can allow Jesus to work in your life, if you can allow Jesus to do everything for you, you will then be able to wake up and stand and say, for with God, nothing is impossible. You know, there are some verses that we are quoting, that are not working for us. Why? Because the foundation is not there in us. Acts chapter 16, verse 18. When you have the name of Jesus, deliverance happen. Let us open it and we read. Verse 16, but the verse that I want most is 18. I just want to, uh, you to understand the story. 
It says, now it happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with a spirit of divination met us who brought her master's much profit by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And verse 18 said, And this she did for many days, but Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus to come out of her and he the spirit came out that very hour can I read that verse again and this she did for many days but Paul greatly annoyed turned and said to the spirit I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of here. And he came out that very hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have the name of Jesus, deliverance must be your portion. When you have the name of Jesus, there is nothing that will fool you. This girl was not speaking bad about Paul and Silas. He was telling people, she was telling people that, hey, listen to these people. They are servants of the Most High God. They are bringing unto you good news, the gospel. Listen to them. But now Paul, because he was having the foundation in him, he could recognize that the spirit that was speaking was not a spirit that is welcomed by this name. So now when this name is not there in you, most of the time you become fooled. You become fooled and you think that that which you are doing or having is in accordance with the word of God guarantee it's not there. You become fooled to an extent that if something can just happen to you, it becomes so easy for you to move out of the way of righteousness. You become fooled to an extent that when anything can just happen in your life, when you are living, it can be easy for you to live that which God has given unto you. Hallelujah. But now, when you have the foundation, this foundation that we are talking about, the name of Jesus Christ, deliverance of your spirit, soul, body happens. Also, your mind is delivered. Whatever you think, you can then speak. It's not longer I. When I think God is able to do above. Because why is there in me? The foundation is there. One day I was asking my son. I say, why are you always reading the Bible? Because most of the time I will find him reading the Bible. He said, Mama. So that when we come together with my friends. We can tell each other. Hey, Yavona. And hey, you have joined that style of Obetanakadivers. Manaka, it does not work. This word that you are reading, allow it to work in you first. Then you can then go to the next friend, your next person, and tell him or oh, her, my friend, I read in the Bible, they said one, two, three. But after the verse is done with, worked in you. So now, when that verse hasn't worked in you, firstly, don't go and tell it to somebody else. 
Why tell it to somebody where else it's not working in your life? When you want the word of God to work in other people's life, it must start working in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you want the name of Jesus to work in other people's life, it must have started by working in your own life. Jesus is always ready to take us to where we want. Jesus is always ready to grant us what we are crying for. Jesus is always ready to minister unto us the way we want things to be ministered. Jesus is always ready to give us whatever we are crying for today. You know, some people, you know, we make, we make, we make our God a fool. God gives you a car. When he gives you this car, my brother, God was saying, because now he's being troubled of going to church and work by taxis and everything, sometimes he reads church late, sometimes this, then this and that. He gives you that beautiful car. Now you have it. You start driving around. Now when God blesses us, God gives us things. Why? Because that foundation was being added on, was growing and growing and growing. And when God looks at you, he found that it is worthy for you to have that car that you have been desiring for years. Now when you have that car, you come to church three months, two months. After that you said, I, I have to rest. I want to rest. You have time now to go to Sun City and Deben and Wombath and whatever, wherever you want to go. And you forget. Or always you were on your knees in the church saying, Lord, if you can just bless me with a car, it's difficult for me to come to your house. Now God gave you that which you were crying for. You forgot that it is the name that made you to have what you are having today. That is why you find us Christians. We get a hold of things. But at a latter day, at a latter end, we lose the things that we are having. Why? Because we forget that which made us to have what we are having today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close? Do you have the name of Jesus? And ask again, what is it that you are searching for? In the name of Jesus, there is salvation. There is deliverance. There is healing. There is whatever blessings, whatever, everything. Zonke bonke, whatever you want is found there. But, there is only one requisition that you have to have. The name must work in you first. That's all.